Let's group things a little bit further. We've gone through and organized things pretty well. But I'm going to take these drums and I'm going to place them on something called the track stack, which is a really cool thing that they included in Logic 10. I'm going to shift select so I have all these tracks selected. Go to track and choose a track stack. There are two types of track stacks. If I use a folder stack, what's going to happen is all of those regions are going to be playing on their individual channel strips, going to stereo out just like they normally were. There just happens to be this little organizational tool that you can use to attenuate all of their volumes before they go to the master output one and two. So that's pretty cool. But then another thing you can do, I'm gonna flatten this stack, is you can do something called a summing stack. And what's cool about that is that one of the really kind of standard things that you do with drums is sum them to a fader. So I've got an auxiliary here that's receiving all of the outputs of all these individual drum tracks. If I open up the mixer, we can see it really easily. There's bus one on all of my individual drums. So that feeds into this auxiliary. In this auxiliary, I have easy control over the entire drum kit with one fader. That's really nice, and that's gonna come in handy when we start mixing the drums later on. So maybe I'll go ahead and I'll group, the bass is only one track, so that's fine. But I'll take the keyboards and I'll group them together. I'll put them in a folder stack because I want them to have their individual channel strips. And all of my vocals are going to go into a folder stack as well. You can imagine when you have a really intense mix with like hundreds and hundreds of tracks, this is a really great way to keep things organized and keep your head on straight. Because if I was to close these all up, that big mix that we had earlier is now turned into four channel strips. That's pretty cool. So the next thing we're gonna do is create just a very rough mix. We're gonna start with volumes and basic panning and go from there. 